Hey hi hello welcome to another video in this video we'll be talking about advanced filtering in Clicksense okay and the scenario for this video would be right so as you can see um, I have uh, movies okay and I have ratings for that movies okay I basically averaged it for an example uh, average is from 1 to 5 a user can rate it between 1 to 5 and what I'm doing is I'm averaging it so basically for three amigos the average rating what it has received is 3.13 okay let's quickly go get into it and even confirm the expression it's simply average rating okay i hope it is clear now uh, the scenario what we need to achieve is right so uh, what i need to do is i want to filter out uh, based upon ratings i only want ratings between 4 to 4.5 basically i want to select a movie to watch for tonight right and i want to make sure it has good it has received good ratings right so it has re received ratings between 4 to 4.5 right to achieve this right i would need to use the expression the rating expression and i would need to filter this data out let's see how to do it to achieve that right i would need i'll firstly copy the expression okay now in in the filter pane what i'll do is i'll write a equal to and i'll paste the function expression and then firstly let's achieve greater than 4 to do that right simply i'll write greater than four okay uh, now the movie titles what we are seeing on the filter pane right they are they have been rated more than four right if i click on enter right now uh, all the movies what you are seeing right they are rated more than four okay I hope this was clear and this is pretty much simple right and now to achieve greater than 4 and uh, greater than 4 and less than 4.5 right what I'll do is I'll paste the expression again here I'll do greater than equal to 4 and again paste the expression less than equal to 4 0.5 right i'll hit on enter now all the movies what we are seeing are rated between 4 and 4.5 see how using a simple technique you could achieve this right so next time you are analyzing basically you don't need to be dependent only on dimension to filter out you can also filter based upon the measures okay now uh, as being an end user right uh, it is not very much intuitive right so to see the function and to do the filtering right this is good for us as a developer but for the end user right what you could do it's uh, you could design a dashboard something like this okay here basically what i've done is i've added a variable input box and we have two basically min and max basically right now what movies you're seeing they are rated between 4 and 4.5 right and uh, you would be using the similar concept what we saw for filtering right within the set expression so let's quickly get into the expression and see the expression so i'm basically having two variables min and max also a flavor what i've added here is like also i'm making sure uh, we are able to see minimum ratings right so for an example at least uh, it, it should be rating uh, rated by more than 100 100 users right then only it, it is legit right if a single user is rating it five right it doesn't makes it doesn't gives us a uh, proper understanding that the movie is good right so at, at least if the, we have 100 reviews and it is between 4 to 4.5 right the movie what we would be watching right that would be good right now let's quickly see the expression right I'm, i added all three expression into it so let's quickly see it uh, so also it, it has been added in both the um, uh, it has been added in both the measures so now here as you can see right what i've done is uh, i have taken average of rating and then within the set expression i am filtering out the title field and now within the title field right what i'm writing is equal to average rating okay and this should be greater than this variable 
greater than or equal to this variable and then there is a space and then again average rating should be less than or equal to this variable and count distinct of user id basically making sure that at least uh, the 100 users have rated right so, and then like uh, then you have the rating here uh, to do the average right so basically this is how you can write it within the expression as well so also uh, in a way inside this video you saw advanced set expressions uh, i hope you enjoyed this video also like as you can see i have found out a movie for watching tonight Uh, and that would be Shawshank Redemption. So yeah, if you found this video interesting, do hit on the like button. And for more advanced set expression videos like this on FlexSense, right? Make sure you subscribe. Until next time, have a good time.